right hey good morning everybody it is uh seven o'clock in the morning i am on my way to ottawa um via the via rail train and i'm super excited about that this is a crazy busy weekend uh, heading to ottawa um today this morning then from ottawa heading to uh, where is it to montreal then from montreal heading back to Toronto for a wedding I have to shoot on Sunday. So as you can see, it's a super crazy, busy weekend. Love it, love my life. Um, fighting off this stupid pesky cold I got from one of my wife's aunts. She's so annoying. Um, no, I didn't French kiss her. She's just, she was just super contagious and gave it to like three people. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'm really enjoying this. This is September th 6th. Uh, so it's the sixth day of the video challenge from the group, no small creator. And I'm really liking this challenge, meeting a lot of new cool people, um, building up my YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe. Um, and I'm trying to do more vlogging because apparently people like when I vlog, I don't know if I really love it, but I'm trying it. And I'm trying it hard. <laughs> All right. So I'm here at uh, Union Station, which is right by my, behind me here. And uh, this is actually Special Bank Arena. Right here in the heart of Toronto. And I'm about to go into the train station. <sighs> I love telling my story, I love telling people's stories, and I love the fact that I get opp opportunity to get paid to do it, so that's pretty dope. My dad has been unpacking for me. Thank you, Dad. Appreciate this. Awesome. Awesome sauce, okay. Dad. Nice, nice. Sauce. Sauce. And the best guy. <laughs> I got too much stuff with me right now. I got my tripod bag, my bag of goodies, and I obviously have my vlogging camera. Um, like I said before. Good morning. Good morning. How you doing? Good. Hi. <laughs> All right, so I'm in the Vio Rail transit area, and um, I gotta say, people look so depressed. I mean, this is the most uh, depressing place I've seen in a long time. Oh my god, people are super quiet, they're like super somber. I'm just like, um, am I in the right place? I'm gonna figure out exactly what train I'm supposed to be taking, um, if I have to pay for my luggage or not. I pray I don't have to pay for my luggage. And if I do, well, then the client has to pay for my luggage. Let me talk to this lady here and get some information first. All right, so here's the deal. Um, I'm at gate 16. That's where we're gonna be leaving out of. And oh, ooh, this is pretty dope. Look at this. Via Rail stepping up their game. Look at this, this commercial, huh? You know, I always wonder, and maybe you guys can answer this for me, how do you get contracts like this? Like, do you have to be a part of an agency? Do you have to create an agency? Um, I'm always wondering how to get those contracts, get those sort of clients, because, damn it, I can do that work too. Here goes nothing. 
It's super loud over here. Alright. Get this stuff here. supposed to be 12b 12b My friend here, Gail. Yes, yes Gail. Gail, Gail. Gail is a. Um, she is a artist. She was. She loves opera. What else do you love? Love She's Catholic. She Melvin loves that. I love Christ. Yes. Awesome. See, there was a reason why I got this seat. I'm very happy. So we are here in Ottawa and I'm just uh, coming off of the train as you can see. <laughs> then I grab my gear and then find my cousin and the adventures or shenanigans, however you want to describe them, will begin. I gotta figure out who's picking me up now and see if I'm getting an Uber from getting something. Oh, I like this logo. I gotta see if I'm getting an Uber or if my cousins are picking me up. We'll figure it out. I've never been to this part of Ottawa, so it's gonna be interesting to see where I go from here. We're going through some tunnel or something. I really got to figure out how to consolidate my equipment a lot better because I feel like I still have too many bags. I have a bag just for my tripods, lighting stands, all that sort of stuff. So if you have any suggestions on light travel bags, um, light tripods, light anything, anything that's travel friendly, please let me know because I'm traveling hell of too much. For me to bring it, be bringing all this gear. Looks like we're walking up these steps here, which is perfectly fine with me because my ass is out of shape. Oh god! How do you vloggers do it all the time? Vlogging and taking your equipment. Oh my god! Casey, you're a chap. Aren't you vegan? That's probably why. I'm officially bored out of my mind. I've been at the bus station for over three hours now. Uh, long story, it was my fault. It was my fault. Um, I made a joke to my family, the people I'm working with, that I was, I missed my train, which I didn't miss my train. And uh, they didn't get the other punchline where I said, no, I'm actually still coming at the time I'm supposed to be coming. And now I'm here for three hours, <coughs> which is great. Haven't really eaten anything, been drinking uh, vitamin water, uh, which is probably the most toxic, disgusting, filthy thing. I'd rather be drinking warm milk um, it's just tastes like trash I 
I will say is I know that there's been a lot of discussions about shooting in public and whether or not that makes sense and how do you start and how do you do it. I just, I'm like Nike. I just say, just do it. Um, but I'm also an extrovert and I done film and television acting and I've done different things that have prepared me to just be in front of the camera um, so if you're if you're trying to vlog um, which is being in front of the camera in public and you've never really gotten used to just being in front of the camera in general I would suggest that you get some practice in at home in comfortable spaces first um, and then attack it like you know a crazed you know upset mama <laughs> once you get comfortable in front of the camera because the reality is that you have to get comfortable in front of the camera first before you get comfortable in front of the camera in God knows where in different spaces where people will be looking at you because people will give you that stink eye that like what are you doing? You crazy but you gotta know what you're doing right? You're creating content you have to look at this content as as something that has to get out to your audience right? because you have a unique voice and your unique voice will, will will draw a unique group of people together and that unique group of people is your tribe and that tribe needs to know what's on your heart and on your mind and what you're experiencing and what you're creating and 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 what you can teach and what you can share with them but if you're afraid to be in front of the camera and you're afraid of being in front of the camera in public it's going to stifle not your creativity necessarily but it's going to stifle your delivery to be able to send that information out to your track so that's my thought on like vlogging in public people are used to it and even if they're not you got to be so comfortable in your own skin that it makes other people get used to it because what I find is I don't find that people give me as much stink looks or stink eyes anymore as much as they they just ask me what I'm doing oh it's, it's almost like um, a point of interest it's it sparks of con it sparks of conversation you know people are like oh what do you have the camera for oh you're a digital storyteller oh you you film oh you're you're an influencer or you're an educator and it's a way for individuals uh, to be able to understand and get more information about your brand and about who you are so think of it as a as an opportunity to actually bolster your brand bolster who you are and what you want to share with the world both from a digital standpoint and from a person-to-person -person interaction when you meet people um, on your different journeys First of all, folks, um, I just want to make a public service announcement. Uh, don't joke around like telling people that you miss flights or miss trains because you know people get stressed out, right? Like here's my homegirl right here, here's my cousin, right? And she's stressed out. Say hi, Natalie. Mm. See, mm. she's stressed out. <laughs> she was like shooting off f bombs. I have to like really cut off all no, that sort didn't. of stuff. She does um, not speak that way. And she's actually like you know one of the civil servants for Trudeau and everything. She it was because I didn't put AM. If I said AM, then it would have made sense, but then you she... You made it sound like you were you, they booted you to the 1.20 p.m. departure from Toronto and that you would arrive here at 9.20 and due to rush hour, <laughs> it was going to be eight hours. You know how sometimes they stop at Smith's Falls. See, I wasn't even yeah. looking at this. Yo, because then she told me, she's like, yo, she's not going to get And it aligned. I went to the Via Rail website and it aligned with an arrival. Yo, get inside. So. Get inside. <laughs> So again, quick tip. Um, if you are joking, don't joke about travel plans. Um, or if you are going to do that, be very clear and very concise, and make sure that the person make sure the person sees the LOL and says, "No, just kidding, <laughs> on schedule." LOL, ha 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 ha. This looks like I just saw a guy run like he was like he just stole something. You see what I'm saying? You can't do that in Toronto. Oh, that's kind of cool. <laughs> well, we're going to this restaurant. Africa my slow food, baby. 
Oh, it's African food. Oh, I thought it was jerk chicken. You guys, I, I asked you specifically, jerk chicken. You can get some jerk chicken here. This is, jerk chicken originated from Africa, right? <laughs> Africa soul food, and we're like, okay, it's really taking a long time to get here. We're like, when is Africa soul food going to actually arrive? And then when we drove by it one time, we saw the coming soon sign was gone. And now we're like, okay, let's give this place a shot. Cause we were, we went on this whole, um, I don't know what it's called, this like mission to spend as much as we could at black owned business. After the National Summit of yeah, Black Canadians. Summit, yeah, exactly. So in December, we made a commitment, at least 10% of our annual salary. Well, at least I made this commitment. I don't know. <laughs> I tried to jump on board. Businesses, right? McDonald's count. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <what? laughs> All right. So um, it's the end of the night. I finally got into my condo room, hotel room, whatever else. Um, I got to do a little bit of editing before I go to bed. Upload a few things, a few videos, including this vlog and then get ready to do some filming in montreal tomorrow morning uh, through the whole day really so that's me in a nutshell i'm super tired it's been a long day but um i hope you <laughs> enjoyed some of my adventures and some of the boring things i had to um do to keep myself sane for a three-hour wait which was brought upon myself but let's not talk about that anyways uh let me know in the comments uh what you thought about this vlog what you thought about some of the things that we talked about and i would love to hear if you have any questions and concerns and don't forget to follow me on instagram on youtube on facebook at tristan barracks all right thank you so much peace out mm -hmm.